Well, hello and good morning. Today it is a Friday. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm, I'm going to make like a flower hat for a little baby, which is gonna look super cute, which you probably have already seen in a thumbnail. And I'm gonna make it like fall themed. So um, today I actually have two sessions. So first I have a cake smash session. I'm gonna set up for that. And then maybe I can already start on the hat. And then I have a break of an hour, which will be my craft time. And then I have a sitter session with a little girl. So hopefully I can try out the hat today during that sitter session. Um, I already have a few of those floral hats. So the blue ones I bought from vendors. And then I have like a pink one. And I actually made this one, but I just had an existing little hat and I just hot glue gunned uh, flowers all around it. So yeah, it kind of looks like this. So you have like flowers all around the head of the baby, looking all cute. Um, but then today I want to make one with like autumn leaves and just autumn things. So it's kind of like an autumn head. Of course, this one is too small for my head. My head is too big for this head. But anyway, first I'm going to set up for the cake smash session and then I'm going to show you all the items that you need to craft your own floral bonnet. So I'm going to create even like the little head, the base that covers the head uh, from scratch. So stay tuned. So here we go with the lovely cake, which is going to be smashed soon. The decor for the portrait photos. And when we go to the cake, it's just a cake and in the back, the balloons and the fluffy balls and stuff. Um, so yeah, bye bye, beautiful cake. So what do you need for your own flower bonnet? Like flower head? I got a back end. I'm just gonna pull out the things that I will need. Uh, a hot glue gun, um, scissors, glue for your hot glue gun, um, some sort of like decoration, fake flowers that you're gonna put on the head. Someone's calling me. Okay, so the people from the cake smith just called me that they are um, going to be 15 minutes late, maybe even half an hour late. Which means that right now I still have 45 minutes probably or half an hour before they get here. So I'll probably just start on my flower head. So yeah, this is one of the reasons why I always schedule an hour in between sessions. Okay, but anyway, where was I? So you need some sort of decoration that you're gonna glue onto the head. Um, I wanna go for fall, so I picked out these two items. If you go for like a floral bonnet, you can just buy like these fake bouquets of flowers, cut out the flowers, glue them onto the head, maybe add some other fun decorations in between. Super pretty. So I might just craft two today, just to show you, who knows. Um, one other thing is a fleece blanket. I would go for white. Uh, or like something neutral colored or something that will fit the color of the decoration that you're gonna put on color if you so yeah if you're using these kind of colors you can also pick a pink fleece blanket or whatever I like to use fleece because it's a little bit thicker than regular fabric so it'll give more shape to your head especially when it's folded double um, so yeah, and also if you cut it, it's not gonna like uh, split at the ends. Um, it's easy to use with a hot glue gun because the chance that you burn your fingers is a little bit smaller because it's thicker. You can press the fabric together without burning your fingers. So yeah, I've got a, just a white fleece blanket. I think, yeah, this one is from Ikea. I would say as well, you need a ribbon. I thought I brought a ribbon with me. I see that I didn't. I think I still have some ribbons here. Otherwise, you can just cut a piece of fabric off your fleece blanket, maybe. Uh, but real ribbon is prettier. But in the studio, I must have a ribbon somewhere. So let's start. Okay, so I didn't find ribbon, but I found a piece of cheesecloth, which is going to be great for the ribbons that you'll actually see. And I found a piece of elastic, which I'm going to use in the back to pull the head into a head shape. Okay, so what you first need to do is get your fleece blanket, get your scissors and cut like a rectangular piece of material. 
I don't know, this is such a cool angle. So I would say you need about 15 centimeters. So from the front of the head to the back of the head for a baby, for like a nine month old baby. Uh, but you wanna have like a part that folds double on both sides. One to make it thicker in the front to put the flowers on and one in the back, it's gonna be double to pull a string through. So I would say cut a piece that's at least what shall we do? 23, 22, 22 centimeters. As you can see, I'm not being super accurate, but I just wanna trim off the edge of the blanket because it goes in a kind of like a circle and I wanna have like a straight, straight edge. So, and then I would get it like 40 centimeters long. So that's around there. Not that big, it's like up to here. You actually only need a very small piece of fabric, as you can see. Well, here you go. I did pretty good. So here I have now a piece of fabric that is 40 centimeters long and like 22 centimeters wide. So yeah, here we go. This is what we need. The rest of the fleece blanket, I'm just gonna put to the side in case we wanna make more later. Okay, so as my hot glue gun is heating up, I'm just gonna already cut some ribbons and it needs something at the bottom i think this looks nice it's just like cheesecloth and it looks really pretty okay so here you got the piece of material on one side i'm going to completely fully double a little bit more because on here it will be the flowers on this side i have to be super precise because later i have to pull the elastic where i i don't know I just lost it again. Anyway, the elastic line has to go through. So I have to be really careful to put the glue only on the outer edge and then glue it double. Because you have to create like a little opening to put the elastic through. And I think it's already too small right now. Uh, okay, change of plans. Here I'm just gonna glue it closed because this will be the side where I'm going to add the flowers on. And then on the other side, I'm going to put the, um, some piece of thread through. Okay, so this will just be the front of the head. That's okay, that's fine. Change your plans, change your plans, very flexible. So here, I wanna be able to pull it tight and loosen it. So I have to get this thread through. I don't wanna have glue on there. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Um, so here we go. See if you're recording. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not a professional crafter. I just like to create things for the studio. Ooh, hot, hot. And I want to make stuff myself. So I have original props. Okay, so before I turn off my glue gun, I'm just gonna place some glue on the edge and add my cheesecloth ribbon to it on both sides. So that's already connected. And then later I can, um, well, I'm gonna turn off my glue gun for a second. So it's not gonna smell like hot glue in here for the cake smash people. And then after the cake smash, I'm going to first see where I'm gonna place all the flowers before I start gluing them on. So I don't have to have my glue gun on the whole time. So here we have your base now. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'm just gonna cut off this um, burlap because the fun part is this is gonna create the head. So I'm going to pull tight the burlap and then here you can already see the head forming. Um, Okay, what would have been prettier is before I closed this part to put the ribbon in between, I might just fold it inwards once more and then the ribbon will be hidden inside because I think the head is already a little bit too big anyway and it's the outside, but here you can see the hot glue. So before you close the edge of the 
front. You can put your ribbon in between so it doesn't show. This is just my first prototype. So I'm learning together with you guys. But yeah, I'm just probably gonna fold it double one more time. So the edge is nice and like sturdy. And then I can add my flowers onto it because I think it's big enough for a baby. Very easy to make and I'm gonna continue after the cake smash. Okay, so we just finished the cake smith session. Um, we started half an hour later, and so now it's already 11.30, and my next session starts at 12. So hopefully I can finish my hat before the session uh, and hopefully the mom even like, likes to use it during her session otherwise I'll use it during a sitter session tomorrow or um, next week um, and then the video will be online a little bit later so yeah now I'm even thinking maybe I should just decorate it with like pink flowers really nice pink flowers um, instead of like making it awesome so guys I think this might be one of the ugliest heads ever but at least it's original I'm gonna have to pay them off to let me use it today probably I don't know if I can still fix this I think this is one of the ugliest creations ever uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it all off and just start with something that is not autumn related um, because this is just not working out. I would feel bad putting this on a baby. So let's see if I can keep the base, just ripping it all off. Okay, so yeah, all my DIY projects don't just succeed in one try. it all up. But I'm just gonna put different flowers on here. Okay, let's see if I still have enough time before the baby comes here. See who the camera is focusing on me or the pretty baby. Oh, pretty baby right here. Stay seated, little madam. I know your head is the heaviest part of your body. You're not eight months old yet. Anyway, so um, here you go the floral hat. We used it during the session. Um, I did realize that somehow mine turned out a little bit smaller. I think it's because I twisted the find like the outer edge one more time um, so I opened it in the back um, and then it fits perfectly which is kind of fun because now it's like the size for an eight month old baby if I pull it tight it would be the size of a four or five month old baby who will come in here a lot for photo sessions as well so um, uh, then I can use it for both ages so yeah I think I saved the bonnet um, from becoming a complete disaster with just some pine cones and autumn leaves uh, around it uh, but anyway so the girl was wearing this during her session and i think it looked really cute on her she was kind of like pulling off a flower so i had to reattach one of the flowers but because it's all hot glue gun you can you know repair the head after the session um 
I think it's nice that you still see a little bit of the white edge around the face. Also, it feels nice for the baby because it's when it's all flowers, it's like tickling on their faces. And now it's like they have the soft fleece material around their face and it does have flowers. So yeah, you do see the white line still here, but I think it's still super cute. Um, I love the color of these two flowers because it's more like a soft pink. The other flowers are more like stronger, harsh pink colors. Uh, but this is what I had, this is what I made. This is how I could show you in the video how to make one of these heads. But you can do whatever kind of flowers you find in your Hobby Lobby or action store or wherever. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy the way it turned out. It's so easy to make. I can make, I don't know, 10 more. You just cut up a fleece blanket, you tighten the part in the back, and then you just paste flowers on it. And that's it. It's super easy to make. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. I'd love to read your comments. Have you ever made one of these hats before? Are you planning on making one and which color? Um, and then uh, hopefully I will see you in the comments and you will see my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>